This is a sew along tutorial for the Green Style Arcadia Bodysuit View K. View K has straps, a racer back, solid body, and panty bottom. We'll also be doing adjustable straps. The Arcadia calls for fabric with at least 50% four-way stretch and good recovery. We are making View K, which requires one yard for sizes B through I and one and a quarter yard for sizes J through M. Since I'm using my Arcadia for a swimsuit, I'll be using a tricot as the main fabric. I'll be adding a second layer of swim lining. For the optional shelf bra, I'm using an athletic knit that has a little more support than swim, but swim will definitely work. For supplies, the Arcadia needs multiple kinds of elastic. You'll want one and a half inch elastic for the shelf bra, three eighths inch swim elastic for the leg openings, and one quarter or three eighths inch clear elastic for the straps. The Arcadia pattern provides optional instructions to make a shelf bra with removable cups. We'll be doing a simple shelf bra in this tutorial so we won't need them. Lastly, to make the straps adjustable, you'll want a set of 3 8 inch bra rings and sliders. For view K, you'll cut the body pieces labeled B2 and B4. I'll also be cutting those same pieces in swim lining for it to be swim ready. For the shelf bra, cut pieces F3 and F4. Lastly, for the straps, cut the front neckline and two racer back bindings adjustable length. For the pattern markings, you'll want to note three points along the arm side that correspond to three points along the binding. The Arcadia can be sewn with either a serger or a stretch stitch on a standard machine. Align the side seams and crotch seams of the main pieces. Using a stretch stitch or serger, sew down the sides of the crotch and the seam using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. If using the pattern for a swimsuit, repeat for the swim liner. In the final step that will differ if using the Arcadia for swimwear, swide the swim lining into the main body wrong sides together. Once both layers are fully aligned, use lots of pins around the leg openings to secure both layers of fabric. Baste stitch around the leg openings. Pin and sew along the side seams of the shelf bra using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. The pattern has a chart for the length of the shelf bra's elastic, but be sure to measure the 1 and a half inch elastic around your underbust for personal comfort. Overlap the short ends of the elastic. Use a zigzag stitch to secure them. Mark the bra at center front and back. Mark the elastic in quarters. Pin the elastic to the side of the shelf bra with the raw side seams. Sew with a stretch stitch or surge the elastic onto the shelf bra, aligning it to the raw edge of the bra. Flip the elastic to encase it in the fabric and top stitch with a stretch stitch or cover stitch. Slide the shelf bra into the suit as the innermost layer. Using a stitch length of 5, baste a straight stitch around the neckline and arm side. Start with a neck binding piece using the single fold bias method. Mark the center of the suit and the neck piece. Secure binding piece at the ends of the neck and at the center. You'll be stretching the neck binding piece slightly to get it to fit. Stretch, stitch, or serge the binding piece along the neckline with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Be sure to catch all your layers. Fold the neck binding around to the back and top stitch in place using a zigzag stitch or a cover stitch. Now for the straps. Pin the racer back binding to the corresponding markings on the suit right sides together. 
For the adjustable straps, you'll have about eight inches extra hanging off the front and three inches off the back. As with the neckline, you should have to pull slightly on the binding to have it lay flat on the suit. To sew down the binding, be sure you're catching all layers of the suit and the binding. You'll sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. One trick I like to do is to begin sewing about one inch from the end of the racer back. Stretch the binding slightly between your markings. Cast off one inch shy of the top of the suit. We'll be sewing clear elastic to the front and back straps. The elastic will start one inch from the end of the suit at the front and the back. This is right where you ended the previous stitch line. The elastic will go on the wrong side of the strap along the raw edge. When sewing down the elastic, there will be no stretch on the elastic, so be sure not to pull as you sew. If using a serger, reduce the differential to neutral. You can use a wide zigzag stitch on a standard machine. When done, there should be no bunching or twisting on the fabric or the elastic. Repeat the process on the back of the same strap and on the front and back of the other strap. Once all extending parts of the strap have elastic, fold the fabric to the wrong side of the suit and top stitch or cover stitch in place. The cover stitch will extend the entire length of the strap. After top stitching, carefully trim the excess fabric from the back of the suit and straps. Now we'll insert the adjustable rings. The back strap will go through the single ring. You can adjust the length of the back strap to your preference. The strap will be folded back to the wrong side of the suit and stitched down in two locations. The front strap will be threaded through the double ring, up through the first hole, over the middle, and down the other hole. Next, loop the front strap through the single ring, top to bottom. The strap will be threaded back through the double ring. Pull out some of the strap and follow the initial path up over and down. At this point, pin the straps and try the suit on to adjust the length of the straps to your personal preference. We'll stitch the back strap twice for extra security, once as close to the ring as possible, and then a second time at the top back of the suit. The front strap will be tucked back towards the bottom, sewing it back on itself within the loop. Trim down excess strap length and you have adjustable straps. Attaching the elastic can be done with either a stretch stitch on a standard sewing machine or on a serger. You'll be using 3 8 inch swim elastic for the legs. The pattern gives a chart for the elastic length based on your size. You'll want to try the elastic around your leg before attaching to verify personal comfort. Overlap the short ends of the elastic and zigzag stitch together. Remember to baste the layers if using swim lining. Flip the suit inside out to pin the elastic. When attaching the elastic, remember you want minimal stretch across the front and the majority of the stretch will be across the back side. I place the overlapping portion at the back and start pinning at the bottom of the crotch. Pin the elastic to the wrong side of the suit. Again, minimal stretch across the front up to the hip with lots of stretch across the back.
If you're using a serger, disengage the blade. Start at the crotch and stitch the elastic to the raw edge. Pull slightly on the fabric so the elastic lays flush as you stitch in place. Once the elastic is on, put the suit on for a fit check to ensure you like the tension. The final step will be top stitching the elastic. You can do this with a zigzag stitch or a cover stitch machine. Fold the elastic toward the wrong side, fully encasing the elastic. Whichever method you choose, be sure to sew as far from the edge while catching the elastic as you can to keep the elastic from rolling during wear. Pull the fabric taut as you top stitch. And with that, you've completed view K of the green style Arcadia bodysuit with adjustable straps. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to use the hashtag GSArcadia when posting across social media. We can't wait to see your makes. Happy sewing!